Hi Stampers, Rose Grunewald here from New Holstein, Wisconsin. Uh, I've got a quick video tutorial today uh, showing you how to make the background for this card that I entered for this week's Global Design Project Challenge. And I'm gonna show you how I used a Ziploc bag to create this cool watercolor wash in the background. What you need for this technique is your aqua painter, some Stampin' Write markers, watercolor paper, and a Ziploc bag. So let's get started right away. Uh, my watercolor paper happens to be cut at three and three quarters by five inches. And I cut my paper first so that when I put my Ziploc bag on top of it as my working surface, I know where my card front is going to be when I'm done. So, this is so simple and super cool. You just take your marker and you scribble on your bag over your card in the colors that you want to use. So I'm using Bermuda Bay, Peekaboo Peach, and Rich Razzleberry. And I just scribble like that. Okay, now you just set your bag aside, and then you're gonna come in with your aqua painter, and you're gonna get it nice and wet, and just wash the watercolor paper with water. There's no ink on there, nothing special, just water. Okay, then you're gonna take your bag, and we've colored on this side, so we're gonna flip the bag over and we're gonna put it right on top of our wet watercolor paper and we're just gonna smush that all around like that. And after it's nice and smushed, you pick up your bag and you've got your watercolor wash. So now I've got quite a bit of water on here so I like to turn my card, tilt it all around and kind of let those colors run. So they run all together. Now if you bear with me, I'm just gonna quick go and dry this because there's a second part to this technique. Okay, I'm back. So I've got this dried and now the next step in this technique is, it's really hard to see maybe, do you see on this card how there's these white spots here adding some texture to the background color? Well, I'm going to show you how we create that. We all know those little touches make all the difference on our cards. So what you do is you take your aqua painter, make sure it's good and wet, and then you are going to just flick it on your card and get some drops of water on there. Now as these drops of water dry, they're going to pull that color up and leave with some nice white spots. Can you see as some of those are drying here, how we've got some of those white spots on there? That just gives it that really neat textured look. Once this dries, then you're free to stamp on it. On this one, of course, I did early espresso, and what's really cool is instead of a really sharp image, we kind of got this antique faded look, which I really like. And you can do this with any color combination you want. I actually um, did this color here. This is uh, Melon Mambo, Wisteria Wonder, and Pear Pizzazz. That one looks pretty cool. And for this card here, I did Island Indigo, Calypso Coral, and Wild Wasabi. Oh no, I'm sorry, this is Old Olive. And that one turned out really neat too. So the possibilities are endless. This is a really simple technique to add some wow to your cards. You can stamp on it in any color that you want. Just make sure that it's completely dry before you do so your ink doesn't run. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out my video today. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a little something. You can check out more project ideas and videos for me on my Facebook page, which is Country Cards by Rose, or on my blog, countrycardsbyrose.blogspot.com. And thanks again for stopping by, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.